looks like he's throwing a gang sign. What the heck? What's up? What you, what you doing? He's crazy. He's missing his finger, too. But uh, that's a very interesting... What's he... Ho- he you think he was holding on to something? I don't know. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous little guy. Don't mess with him. Nothing too special in glass. He's crazy. He's missing his finger, too. But uh, that's a very interesting... What's he... Ho- he you think he was holding on to something? I don't know. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous little guy. Don't mess with him. Oh, uh, elephant with no tusks. That's too bad. What's that guy back, back there? Um, toothbrush holder. And she's very plain and white. Oh, she's a little planter. 349. It's not very detailed or anything, though. That's nice for $4.49, carved little ox. Last time I was here, I picked up quite a few little figurines like that. That might have been from the same person. Shovel, probably from Target. It's an interesting little drum or something. $4.49 on that. Okay. Little ashtray. What is this ashtray? It's very dark. Oh, University of Minnesota. Okay, she's pretty. Interesting little figurine. Six forty nine. She's like a kind of a weird resin material. She's missing her thumb, so we'll pass on that. Interesting little gun. Fourteen forty nine on that, huh? Must actually do something. I'm not a fan of guns, though, so we'll go ahead and pass on that. Two forty-nine. Oh, okay. Germany, two forty-nine, huh? I think that's worth two forty-nine. It's a sweet little tray. The grape um, bowl is kind of cool too, with the iridescence on it. But I'm not sure about that. Um. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on in glass that is new, anyway. 
And then we slide on over into mugs. So let's see what we've got here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, San Francisco Zoo. Hershey's Kisses. Interesting, interesting. Some Reese's, a Star Wars cup. Not seeing anything for us though. Okay, well, let's uh, swing around to the other side and check out plate. It's an interesting little serving tray with the frosted glass in it. I like that. It's very heavy. Oh, like a little candy twist bowl. Interesting. Who makes that? I'm not sure. Under the label, I can't quite tell. Um, but that's actually really kind of neat. It's got some good weight to it. Maybe we should pick that little guy up. At least to uh, do a little research, look him up, find out about him. Um, the handle for this is plastic, but the rest of it's glass. It's weird. All right, these shelves are a little light today for plates. That's unusual. Oh, a little fishy. I, he was here last time, I think. Uh, bowls. Nothing here in bowls. And little plates. Saucers. I think I might have looked at this last time. Um, that box poppy trail. I think I might have looked at this last time, but I was like, oh, well, no, there's just it's just one plate. So for four fifty, getting one plate. I guess it's kind of decorative. Maybe I should look it up and see see if it's worth four forty nine. I'll put that in the look up pile too. Since it's still here, maybe it's meant to be that I take it home. It's interesting pottery pottery bowl and apple pie. Okay. Well, not a whole lot here. Um, let's maybe swing over to wood. Okay, vases first. Oh, that's flash. Oh, it's plastic. I was gonna say it's flash. You can see it's coming off, but it's plastic. It's not even glass. Fake plants, pottery. No good pottery, though. What are those guys? Um, Burton and Burton. Interesting. They don't appear to be old, though. I do not think those are old. Ugh. Okay. And that's a collection of little glittery birds. And candles. Not much in candles. Gosh. Alright. Um, swing over here to wood and check out wood really quick and see if there's anything fun in here. Wood is always an exciting adventure, full of danger and peril. This is a cute little guy for $1.49. Oh, I only have a kitchen because it came with the house. Yeah, I bought a sign like that for a friend of mine once. She did not any cooking. It's not for everyone. Alright, well, nothing in wood today. Okay, um, art. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Is that fun or what? It's a uh, velvet. It's painted velvet. So 70s, so retro. The frame is awesome. $17.49 on that. Uh, it does look like it needs a little help as far as the frame is concerned. It's kind of coming out here on the side, but that's not a big deal. Um, and it's not like insanely heavy. Seventeen forty-nine. I don't know. I feel like this could fetch some dollars. The frame isn't too bad, is it? I mean, there's some wear on the sides, but that's normal, you know? It's probably 50 years old. 
He's a very interesting man. One of his eyes is very, very dark. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Should I pick up EPH's Painted Velvet Conquistador? Hmm. See that right there? I did it. I got him. I couldn't help myself. I put it in the cart and then I took it out of the cart and I walked away and, um, and I found a couple of other things that I didn't um, get on camera so I'll show them to you in a second. And then I went back and I put him in the cart again and then I took him out of the cart. He, he had to come home with me. I think we're gonna do really good on him actually. I just have a feeling he's a little bit creepy, but kind of cool. And I think that he would be awesome in like a man cave. Um, and I think that there is a perfect buyer for him out there. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be happy with, with that. Um, I did also pick up this little guy. Um, it looks, the flowers and everything look a lot like the um, pieces that we picked up in our last video that had the little violets and the little purple flowers and stuff on them. This doesn't have any kind of maker's mark or anything on it, but it's really sweet and delicate. It's a little, it's a little jar. Um, and so I thought if that is an exact match to those other pieces, that would be a really nice, like, additional piece. Uh, really, cool, really cool find. And then this um, is a little left in, and like all these little petals are all still here, which is incredible. Um, it's a little left in wall pocket. So that was five forty nine, dollars probably worth about 15, 20 bucks maybe, but um, it's very pretty. It's in excellent condition. There's no breaks or chips or anything, and it's very pretty, very sweet. So um, there's still light out. I think we need to hit one more place. Um, there is another Goodwill down the road in Tempe, and we haven't been there for a little while. So I'll meet up with you there. Okay, we look pretty full tonight, so let's see what we got. I do remember that this Goodwill has loud music, so I'm going to try to talk a little louder, and hopefully I don't get into any trouble. Oh, she's a little cutie, isn't she? Wow. A little Groot, is that his name? A uh, little boat, 349. Interesting. Lots of, like, lighthousey sort of themed things on this shelf. Um, Quito Import. The painting on it is very not fantastic. 249. Huh. I don't know. I'm not in love with her. She's kind of a mess. So I think I'm going to leave her behind. Um, that is uh, not wood. I thought it was for a second, but it is not. She's an interesting little figurine. All right, let's keep rolling. Bunny Rabbit, Easter time. That's not old, though. That is um, Andrea. That's not a bad piece. Um, some of her stuff can go um, for a pretty decent amount. And I have a, I've got a little bird by her right now. Is there any damage on this little plate? Doesn't look like it. Three forty nine. I think we'll make that our first pickup. Why not? If it didn't have her label on it, I probably wouldn't, because I probably wouldn't know it was hers. But since it does, we'll grab that. All right, next aisle is glass. So let's see what we got going on in glass. Little Alamo shot glass, that's kind of sweet. Painted. <clears throat> Doesn't look like there's too much going on though here. No fun vintage glasses. Oh, we haven't been here for a long time, but look at that. They still have this glass. Didn't they have several last time? Oh, yep, they're back there. 99 cents. You know what? I don't know. Maybe I should look it up. Maybe that's a sign that I should grab them. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them. Huh. 99 cents each. Six bucks. I don't know. Maybe I should go ahead and pick those up. Okay. We loaded those up in the cart. I did a quick look up. I didn't see any solds. There are a couple other ones listed. I couldn't see um, what brand they are or anything, but I'll do more research later. They're worth more than $6, and that's what I'm going to pay for them, so I feel like we can't really go wrong there. Um, there's a bunch of Kentucky Derby glasses. This is crazy. I don't know how collectible they are, but there's all, all sorts of them. Um, $3.49 each. Obviously, the Goodwill thinks they're probably collectible. And those are nice little hand-blown, $1.49. 
They're contemporary, but they are pretty. I like those. Um, let's swing around the corner here. Check out some bags. It's all like clear glass bags and stuff. So nothing too fun there. And then I guess we'll check out this uh, kitchen-y aisle here. <coughs> Couple pieces of Temptations. A spoon rest. It's a cute little cactus shaker. Just one by himself though, sad. Some other shakers made in China. That's an interesting little um, measuring spoon holder. What's this guy? Uh, let me get a better grip on him. I'll try to bring him to the front here. El Echuria Corotona. I don't know what that means. But it's hand painted. 349. Oh, it's got lots of damage though to that little cup on the top there. Otherwise, that was pretty sweet. I would have totally grabbed that, but not, not if it's damaged. That's kind of fun too with an underplate, but it's got some big chips on it, a gravy boat. No maker's mark on that guy. Made in China on that guy. Okay, well, let's keep running here. Well. Uh, Crown Ming, fine china. That's pretty, I like the color on that. Clay wear. Oh, those are nice enamel. Enamel dishes with sweet little flowers on them. $249, $349. I wonder if they're old. They look old. I don't know. If they're in really good condition. I think I might go ahead and grab those. They're never in good condition, so it's worth it when you see it to, uh, to grab it. What does this say again? Countryside Enoch Wedgwood Limited England. I don't know. I don't know. It's just one little saucer. Let's not get too carried away. That's uh, not old. All right. Um, Let's see if we uh, can check out wood really quick. It's kind of busy over in the figurines and the kitchenware aisles, so let's check out wood really quick and uh, see what goodies we can find back here. There's nobody back here. Um, that's not hand-painted. It's like a print that's stuck on there. Had me fooled for a second. Not seeing any goodies in here. What's that little guy? He's a little lost man, a little toy. Poor thing. Mm, things are falling on me. That's the, uh, that is the danger of wood. It is, it is um, always a mess and things like to fall down. monkey. Easter egg plate. Everybody welcome. That's cute. Easter is coming. That was a cross until it broke. Well, not too much here. Kind of sad. Not finding any fun stuff in the wood. Well, at least this side. There is one more side. So let's swing around here. Let's see if there's any goodies on this side. That is an Idaho uh, little shelf or whatever it is. Interesting. These birds don't go here. It's a music box, probably overwound. ATM bank. Little things you can make, I guess. Those are fun. $5.49, I'm sure each. With the little brass boat on them. No, actually, they're $5.49 for the pair. Um, there is some damage. There's a lot of sticker goo on here, too. I think that will probably come off. I don't know. I don't know. Should I take a chance on these with the damage? 
that's kind of rough. But if you have it on this side, then you don't see that. Then there's a little bit right there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's put them in the cart and we'll think about it. How does that sound? That's a good compromise, right? Hello, sunshine. It's contemporary. All right. Oh, I want to see what this is. Let's see how we're going to get to that. Okay, that was a that was a chore. That was not a lot of fun, and we're still struggling. <laughs> uh, lane furniture. It's a cedar box. Six forty nine. It's in beautiful shape. That is a score. That's probably worth about I don't know twenty five dollars or so. It's heavy. Cute little Hummel, Hummel-esque uh, wall hanging. All right, that might be it for us in wood, but that box was a sweet score. Orange lamp is awesome. That's really cool, isn't it? $29.49, huh? It's a really neat lamp. You'd have to get a certain special shade for that, though. Not that kind of shade. And what in the world would I do with it? It's huge. And it's $30. We don't need a $30 lamp. I can't ship that. <coughs> okay, well, art is here. So let's check out art really quick. Oh, we've got some pieces here. We've got some nice stuff. What's going on? Those frames are awesome. They are signed. That is oil paint. So, oh my goodness. $17.49. What happened? 1749. 1749 for that one too. Wow, it's not the same artist either. And then here's a little guy. This one's beautiful too. Edwards. I love the flowers. I love the frame. 1449. Wow. They're never that expensive. What's going on? I mean, I think they'd be worth quite a bit. I think I could probably offload them for considerably more than that, but still, $17.49? I mean, I just bought one the other day for $5.49. I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, shucks. Well, let's keep rolling and see what happens. Um, if we don't find anything else, we might just go ahead and grab it. Oh, look, there's a really cool still life, too. Looks like somebody got rid of a bunch of art. And it's good art. I like that. It does, it does have a little bit of a some damage right there. That's not too noticeable. $17.49 though on that too. Alright, well we've got some thinking to do, that's for sure. We have three at 17 and one at 14, so. Ah. That's just a print, and the frame is awful. Um, okay, we missed a couple aisles over here, so let's go to... Okay, and bowls and things, too. Can't forget the bowls. What are these little guys? Three forty-nine, huh? It's really weird. That one's signed. Four forty-nine. I think I'm going to pass on those guys, though. Uh, let's see what we have in teacups. Tea cups and saucers have been doing quite well for me. I sold those green ones the other day, um, and I sold those Mexican Tanala pottery ones. So definitely want to make sure we check out tea cups. Doesn't look like there's anything here today, though. And I don't see any cool mugs, and I don't see any Starbucks mugs. What's that guy? Arizona. Well, that's where we are. 149, huh? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't stop thinking about those paintings. And I feel like today was like our special day for art. And I think I need to go grab those paintings. I think they're all gonna do really well for us. And 
I think that it's the universe telling me pay attention more to art and get that art sold out there. And I think that's exactly what we're going to what we're going to do as soon as we're done in this aisle. Lots of Vegas. Kind of a leather wrapped, uh, leather wrapped horse. That can be worth money. Nine forty nine, but it looks like his tail, unfortunately, um, is broken. His tail broke off, so that is uh, definitely going to diminish his value. Oh, there's the other little shaker to go with. Where is that shaker? We gotta put the shakers back together. There. That's better. Oh, what's that? That's Capitamonte. How incredibly damaged is it? Um, well, that whole pedal is gone. So yeah, 649, not gonna, not gonna do it for us. And then this one's got some really good brakes too. Such a shame, because those are a pretty pair. They would have been really nice. Um, all right, that's a fun candle. All right, let's go grab our art. And uh, let's grab our art and get out of here. Whoa, speaking of art, oh my gosh, this is 14.49 too. That's really interesting. Um, the pedal's broken right here. That's a very interesting little 3D um, art piece, though. I really, really like that, but it's got a break, so we're going to pass on that. But we are going to go get those other guys. Okay, we're loaded up. Um, I got the still life. I got the, um, the two that were in the bamboo frame, and I got the beautiful yellow flowers. So I'm excited to see where we go with those. Um, let's check out little teapots and stuff here first before we go. Um, that's a Narco. 549 on that, huh? It doesn't look super old, but a Narco has been out of business for some time. So I wonder how, how much that's worth. Uh, put it in the cart here and look it up. And we do have to look up a few things. We've got those bookends too I'm not so sure about. And especially now that I'm getting all that art, I don't know if I want to pick up all the other little incidental stuff. Hand-painted. 9.49. Oh, wow. Okay. Look like there's too much else on these shelves. Um, that's all kind of electronics and things. Um, these are sort of like larger platters and whatnot. It's got a lot of yucky mess on the inside of it, so I think we're gonna pass on that. It's an interesting little colander, but it's got lots of damage and staining on the inside, so we're gonna pass on that. All right. Okay, well, um, I put a couple things back. We're going to pass on the bookends. And we're going to pass on these guys, too, because I am not convinced that they're old, and um, I'm not excited about them. And then I found this Indiana Glass uh, divided dish that I think is really cool for $3.49. It's got a tremendous lot of weight to it, but I looked that up, and... Looks like there's a couple listed for nine bucks, so that's not gonna do too much for us. Um, I did find this little party light owl. Um, he needs a good cleaning, but he's got the sticker still, and he's $1.49, um, and it looks like it can sell for about eight bucks, so there's not a huge profit there, but it's something. And I'm still deliberating on this Anarcho teapot. Um, I did look it up, did not find any comps, um, except there was one, um, but it was a music box on the bottom, which was a little strange. And then I did pick this little guy up too because he's fun and cute, and he's a dollar forty-nine as well. Um, I think I might gift him um, to somebody. And then when I was over here dumping my stuff, 
being a bad boy and dumping it there, but it's an empty shelf and people can see it. Um, this little sweetheart kind of jumped out at me. Isn't she a cutie? She's got a little basket for like dried flowers or whatever. Two forty nine, dollars made in Japan. She's sweet. I love her. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then I think it's time for us to head on out. Um, okay. <laughs> Ouch. Total spend was $77. Um, I did download the 20% off coupon that is available um, at Goodwills in my area, which is a godsend and a blessing and wonderful and amazing. So if you spend more than $20 you get a 20% coupon that you can use. Um, so that definitely helped. Took about 20 bucks off the off the total. Um, I'm really excited for those art pieces, all of them. Um, and I, if, I don't know if you can see back there, but I also got a uh, uh, lampshade that is in amazing condition. It's very vintage 70s. It's gonna look great in my living room. I have a lamp that has a shade that has a little stain on it and it bothers me. So I'll be able to switch that out. So I even got something for myself. Um, Thank you guys so much for joining me, um, and thanks for hitting up two Goodwills tonight, two in a row. Um, thank you all for, for liking and subscribing and being a part of my journey and a part of my world, and I um, appreciate you all so very much. Check out my eBay store. Um, I'm going to go gung-ho this weekend and try to get as much listed as I can. I'm a little behind, but I uh, definitely need to get some stuff on there. And as always, be safe out there, and until next time, bye.